Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIVS Home School. I am Ashish Vishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 43 of half year and today's SW number will be 31 and this is your vacation SW and this vacation SW is submitted 1 29 May 2021. Today's topic's name is chapter 8. From chapter 8, we shall solve CBQ number 4 as your CW and CBQ number 5 will be your SW. Okay, I hope you have understood. Dear student, let us start our class. Here, CBQ number 4. At first, we read CBQ number 4 in order to solving that problem. Okay, summation of 7 numbers is 401. Okay, the average of first 3 numbers is 56 and the average of last 3 numbers is 58. Okay, this is the stem of this question okay by using stem we shall solve a b c and d a number determine the summation of first three number b number determine the summation of last three number c number what is the fourth number among d number if the average of first three number is 67 what will be the summation okay my dear student a b and d these three matter same and only c is different okay but it is so easy also Okay, A number question, determine the summation of first three numbers. Here you notice the average of first three numbers is given. Average is 56 and number of data is 3. So, we multiply this 56 by 3 and we get the summation of three numbers. So easy. So, write first. Given that the summation of, sorry, the average of average of first three numbers is 56. So, the summation of of first three numbers is 56 multiply by 3. 3 6 are 18 carrying on 3 5 are 15 on 16 on 68. Okay, and this is the answer 168. Okay, A number question done. We need this information. The summation of first three number is 168. This is from question number A. And next, determine the summation of last three numbers here you notice the average of last three numbers is 58 just like question number a so write first given that the average of last three numbers is 58 so the summation of last three numbers is 58 multiply by 3 Okay, my dear student, now we do multiplication. 3 8s are 24, carrying 2, 3 5s are 15, plus 2 17, 174, and it is the answer. So, B number also done, 174. Now, dear student, this is question number C. What is the fourth number? In order to solve this, solving this math, at first we need to go to the stem. Here you notice, summation of 7 number is 401. And uh, summation of first three numbers is obtained in question number A. Summation of last three numbers is obtained in question number B. So, my dear student, at first we add the summation of first three numbers with the summation of the last three numbers. After that, we get a result and that result is subtracted from the summation of seven numbers and we get the fourth number. I hope you have understood. Okay. So, we shall solve it first. From A, we get the summation of first three numbers is 168. From B, we get, we get the 
summation of last three numbers is 174 okay so and given that given that summation of seven numbers is 401 now we do addition of first three numbers and last three numbers the summation of first three numbers and last three numbers is 168 plus 174 okay we do addition 8 and 4 12 from 12 by right here to carrying 1 7 and 16 13 13 plus 1 14 from 14 I write here 4 carrying 1 1 1 2 carrying on 3 so 342 is the summation of first three numbers and last three numbers now we need to find out the fourth number here you notice here summation of seven number and this summation of other six number if we subtract this six number from this seven number then we get the fourth number so right so the fourth number is fourth number is 401 minus 342 we do subtraction 2 to 11 we get 9 carrying 1 that one is added with this 4 it will be 5 5 to 10 it is 5 carrying 1 that one is added with this 1 3 it will be 4 so 4 minus 4 that means 59 so what is the answer answer is 59 right okay this is the solution of question number c and our last question of this class c d number question if the average of first three numbers is 67 so what will be the summation that means same as question number a and b so first of all we write given that given that the average of first three number is 67 so the summation of first three numbers is 67 multiply by 3 now we multiply and we get the answer 3 7 are 21 carrying 2 3 6 are 18 plus 2 20 so 201 so 201 is the answer of this question and this is the today's cw and cbq number 5 will be your sw i read this question summation of 13 numbers is 1924 among them the average of first seven number is 172 what is the average of last six numbers so easy at first we find out the summation of first seven numbers then we subtract that first seven numbers from 13 numbers and we get the summation of six numbers after that we divide that summation by six and we get the average of last six numbers i hope you have understood b number what is the average of all numbers my dear student here you notice the summation of 13 number is 1924 by using this information you can easily find out the average of all number that means 13 numbers so easy it, you divide 1924 by 13 and you get the answer c number question if 
13 number is 124. What is the average of first 12 numbers? Okay, my dear student, I repeat. If 13th number is 124, what is the average of first 12 number? Dear student, notice. This is the summation of 13 number, which is 1924. If we subtract 13th number from this summation of 13 number, then we get the summation of 12th number. After that, res that result is subtracted by 12 and we get the average of the first 12th numbers. I hope you have understood. So, A, B, C question is so easy and you must solve it for SW and you submit it on 29th May 2021. My dear student, today's class is finished. You must do your assign SW and submit it and my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum